Based on an inexpensive Arduino Nano, the Canaduino PLC100 DIY soldering kit is the possibly cheapest way to build your own programmable logic controller. The new version V2 requires only basic soldering skills for completion. Canaduino DIY PLC100 version 2 requires 12 to 24 volts operating voltage. The PLC's four digital inputs are designed for voltage levels of 3.3 to 24 volts DC, and the four analog inputs are compatible with standard 0 to 10 volts devices like sensors or light dimmers. An I2C serial bus with 5 volts logic level can be accessed on the 4-pin Stemma connector and allows connecting of accessories like sensors or displays. Included in the kit is a DC to DC switching converter module, which supplies all internal and external voltages for the PLC module. We also included a DS1307 RTC chip for applications that require scheduled or timer operations. Six relay outputs can switch loads up to five amps, and the four analog outputs can control zero to 10 volts devices like HVAC dampers, dimmable light ballasts, or VFDs. Just pop in your Arduino Nano or compatible module, the backup battery for the RTC chip, and start creating your program using Arduino IDE, Visuino from MyTop Software, OpenPLC, or any other programming environment that supports Atmega328 microcontroller. The second new Canaduino PLC is a readily assembled and tested variation of the Canaduino PLC 100 version 2. It requires the same 12 to 24 volts operating voltage. Its four digital inputs are designed for voltage levels of 3.3 to 24 volts DC, and the four analog inputs are compatible with standard 0 to 10 volts devices like sensors or light dimmers. An I2C serial bus with 5 volts logic level can be accessed on the 4-pin Stemma connector and allows connecting of accessories like sensors or displays. A DS1307 RTC chip enables the Canaduino PLC100 to perform scheduled or timer operations. The six relay outputs can switch loads up to 5 amps, and the four analog outputs are able to control 0 to 10 volts devices like HVAC dampers, variable frequency drives, or dimmable ballasts for lighting applications. All you need to do is to insert your Arduino Nano or compatible development module, the CR1220 coin cell for the RTC backup, and create your control program. Use the programming environment of your choice that supports at Mega328 microcontroller. The third new model is based on the Espressive ESP32 C6 Dev Kit C1 and adds Wi Fi and Bluetooth capabilities, much more processing power, memory, and storage to the otherwise familiar design. It needs 12 to 24 volts DC for operation and provides the same inputs and outputs like the Arduino Nano based models. Four digital inputs for 3.3 to 24 volts DC. Yes, 3.3 to 24 volts, not 3.3 to 12 volts as it says on our prototype. Four analog inputs, 0 to 10 volts, and an I2C serial bus which uses 3.3 volts logic level and connects to accessories like sensors or displays through a quick compatible 4-pin connector. A DS3231 high-precision RTC chip supports your scheduled or timer-operated applications. The six relay outputs can switch loads up to 5 amps, and the four analog outputs are able to control 0 to 10 volts devices like HVAC dampers, variable frequency drives, or dimmable ballasts for lighting applications. Now pop in your Espressif ESP32 C6 Dev Kit C1 module and you are ready to go. Just make sure you insert it the right way. The antenna goes to where the cutout is on the circuit board. Clear markings on the PCB also help you to get it right. You can program your PLC using many different tools from Arduino IDE to MicroPython and OpenPLC. Even ladder programming for the old school electrician is available for ESP32 microcontrollers. We also recommend MyTov's brilliant Visuino software for visual programming using function blocks instead of code. The backup battery for the onboard real-time clock chip will be assembled as well before we ship the PLC module.